Hello everybody, this is Petey from Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and today in our C-Sharp tutorial we're going to take a look at Main Street. So today we're going to go ahead and look at nested namespaces. And I'm going to come over here to our first class, which was in Bob's names, namespace, and show you the first way. The first way is, well, just use the dot operator and add the part of the namespace that you want to be next. So let's say you have a bunch of mathematical operations in a certain namespace. Uh, let's say this is actually a mathematical operation all in this namespace. This would be a great way to separate the math stuff. So if we want to come over here now, and we tried to run this. Uh, we're going to get an error right here uh, because we can no longer access the test class. What we have to do now is tell it where to go. So dot math. We'll go ahead. We'll save that off. We'll go run it again. And we also have to do the exact same thing here. So again, we'll save that off. We'll run it one more time. And this time, let's actually make sure that we actually have a period there as opposed to a comma. And we'll start it up. There we go. Runs the exact same. And we'll come back to the first class. And we're going to go do it a different way now. Another way to do it would be just to come down here or anywhere in a class. It could be in a separate file, uh, anywhere really, and just do another namespace. And we're just going to call it, well, let's do math here. I will save this off, and let's go ahead and actually make a class here for math. So uh, let's do a public class. And I'm just going to call this one adder. And it's just going to have one function in it which will be public, returns an int. I'm just going to call it add. And it's going to take two ints. And all it's going to do is just return the sum. There we go. So now if we want to go ahead and access this, We'll come back to our main. I'm actually going to come up here, add a using statement for bob.math. Uh, we're going to have to fix this again because the test class is no longer in there. And after this, we'll just go do a different test. We're going to say adder add. It's equal to new adder. And then we're just going to go ahead and pass some values into actually, well, add together. So add dot add, and we're just going to say uh, 1 plus 2. So 1, 2. And that's actually going to return a value. So let's go ahead and actually do a console right here. So console right line, it's going to return an int. So we'll go ahead, we'll save that off, and we'll just go ahead and run this. And there we go, we get the three. I guess I should close that down. So adding sub namespace is not that hard. So there's, like I said, two main ways of doing it. Uh, sometimes it can get really long. Maybe in your math, you're going to have uh, maybe specific you know, on other namespaces in there. Maybe you want to have you know certain division ones or whatever. For some reason, you end up with a lot of different namespaces chained together. It can get pretty long writing all these things out. Uh, so sometimes you'll want to go ahead and actually use an alias. And the way you do that is we can just say, well, let's just call this uh, bmath. And we're going to have that equal to bob.math. And then when we're down here, we can actually go ahead and say b. Well, let's actually leave a space there. Go b math. 
dot adder. I'm just going to cut and paste this all in. I guess copy and paste. There we go. So we've added an alias. Let's go ahead and we'll run this. Build it, no errors. We'll hit run. And there we go. It still runs. All right, so the neighbor's dog's finally quieted down, so I can go ahead and end this tutorial. Uh, so that was pretty much everything you needed to know for namespaces, or at least as far as creating nested namespaces and aliases. Uh, hopefully uh, it helps you out, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.